what up guys um if this angles off sorry i'm just trying out i went out and bought um a gopro uh so that i can talk to you guys while i'm driving uh you know so let's see how this works out let me know well when i go and review it or edit this you know I'll, i'm pretty sure i'll find out how it worked out so anyway, um, I wanted to actually review my car today um, since I actually haven't done that for you guys. Um, so what I'm driving is a 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe R-Spec. Um, and yes, this car is no longer stock. Um, obviously the internals are, but you know, I had, did some bolt-ons and things like that um, really to improve the car's performance and what I felt it should be like from the factory. So what I've done is I've actually, obviously I did the normal things. I have a K&N um, cold air intake, um, which definitely made the car sound a little bit different. Obviously intakes don't really do too much to a car, uh, but you know, it definitely woke the car up a tiny bit. Then, um, you know, I gotta th think about the stuff I did because I've done a few things more than once um so my next thing i actually did was the uh flywheel and the um clutch and the reason why i actually had to do that it's the act flywheel and the act clutch uh, and the reason why these were done was because the bearing in the flywheel were actually have worn away i bought the car with about fifty-five thousand miles on it and maybe after about thirty thousand miles that bearing um finally went and it was causing the car to uh, shake at stops and it felt like the clutch wasn't there. Um, so to, for me to engage the clutch, actually I had to push down very hard um, all the way to the floor, in fact. And basically when we took it, when we took it off, we realized that it was the flywheel, not the clutch. Um, I still had plenty of meat actually on the clutch. so. Um, but I ended up ordering the flywheel anyway. So I'm at, I have a single mass flywheel. Um, I think it's uh, 18 pounds in total, um, which, you know, gave, helped the car respond. Um, does it mess with the torque and things like that? I don't know, don't care. It definitely made the car respond a lot better though. Uh, so that was, those were the next two things I did. Then actually I did the, uh, now, so I started it off. I'm on my second exhaust and believe it or not, I'm gonna go back to the first exhaust. Um, so right now I have a pseudo exhaust, which it's all right. Um, I don't know if you get how much you can hear the car hear it, but this, it, it sounds all right. Um, I actually had a CNT exhaust on it and it sounds a hell of a lot better. So I'm actually gonna go back to that exhaust. The reason why I actually switched exhausts was just because I had to go through emissions and the way their garage is, the angle was horrible and it ripped the uh, muffler on the CNT exhaust. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you're asking, then how are you gonna go back to the CNT exhaust? Well, I took the uh, muffler portion, which is about the midsection of the whole of the cat back and um, I'm actually having it basically wide piped, um, which they've had it for um, about two weeks now, two and a half weeks. So I'm just waiting for them to actually get done. You know, this, this place uh, in North Haven, Connecticut, um, MPH, they build race car chassis, they build complete exhaust systems and things like that. And, you know, so I brought it to them to see if they can do something for me. And they said, hey, we can wide pipe this for you. So I was like, hey, that'd be great. Um, it's probably gonna make this car sound a lot better and a lot louder. So I definitely can't wait for that. Uh, so, you know, that was the number two thing I did. Then, um, the number, th the next thing I actually did was, um, it was my birthday and uh, my girlfriend was like, well, what do you want? And she hates getting me car parts, but, I was able to talk her into um, getting me the um, ISR downpipe, um, which which made a huge difference in the sound of the exhaust. Uh, but 
you know, the other reason why I wanted the ISR downpipe was because I had planned to do the um, BTR um, ECU, which that was the next thing I did, which was the B BTR ECU. So, if you guys don't know much about the BTR, even the SFR, um, the BTR EC, what BTR basically did was they retuned a, Hon a Hyundai um, ECU. So, um, now I'm revving to 7200 RPMs versus the 6400 that was stock. Um, I they turned up the boost, so stock boost was about 14 pounds, and it would back off at peak, and then would back off to about 10. Um, now I'm I'm boosting at 21 pounds, and it's backing off to about 16, which may, wakes this car up big time. Uh, so that was a, one, the, one of the other things it did. The main thing that it did, though, was it gave me one-to-one -one, um, throttle. Which, if you don't know, the all Hyundai's, uh, or at least Hyundai Genesis Coupes, they only open up when you have the, your foot down, all the way down on the pedal. The max that it opens up is 80%. So you think you're at 100% throttle and you're only at 80% throttle. What one-to-one -one does is if I have the pedal halfway down, I'm at 50% throttle. If I have my foot all the way down to the floor, I'm at the throttle is open 100%, which is great. It definitely wakes this car up. Um, you know it that and it also get it also got rid of the rev hang that hyundai's are notorious for or at least the genesis coupes again um so that was that was a big deal for me um i'm probably uh i think it boosted me up to about 240 uh wheel horsepower which is great um if this car had come from hyundai the way it currently sits now Man, this car would have this car definitely would have been or would have picked up a lot quicker than what it has. Um, I still do believe these cars will pick up as
wheels and uh but his are bronze so mine are a hyper black if you guys wanted to know um and i did get them off of ebay um from a seller called uh modworks they were only 850 bucks and i think they look great uh, are they i think they they're a replica of a different wheel but you know what i don't care and i couldn't be happier with how they look so that is those are the wheels that i have i'm trying to think of what else i've done because it was oh the um so i have a forge um blow off valve which let me see if i can get it to blow off the state trooper drove by me already i don't know if you heard that but it's actually pretty loud it's that it's way louder than stock um and I think it, that was something I paid like 180 bucks for it, but um, I definitely enjoyed it. It was an upgrade that I think it definitely that the, my car definitely needed. So I went ahead and did it. You know, this is um, you know, sorry if I keep saying um and things like that. I think I might make a T-shirt for that. So at some point in the future, look out for that shirt. But you know, this is I love this car. Like, there's not. There's nothing I can really complain can can complain about. Uh, it's been very reliable. You know, I've I won't say I've beat the crap out of it, but I definitely do a lot of high speed driving, which this car definitely takes it. And with again with that BTR ECU, you know, you e like I ease into the pedal, and this car wants to pull literally all the way from all the way to seven grand the 7200 rpm it doesn't actually stop pulling um will i do more stuff to the car in the future yes uh i definitely plan on building this car building this two liter motor just because i want to see exactly what i can get out of this motor and i'm notorious for building my cars anyway so uh once i blow the motor but i'm actually going to try to do this before i blow the motor uh so I want you guys definitely to look out for that and I'm going to get some shots. I went, like I said, I went and bought this GoPro, so I'll probably get some shots outside the car um, with this, with the GoPro and with my old camera, but watch out for that in a little bit. So we will talk to you soon. Uh, oh, watch out for my other videos too. Take a, take a look back at my other videos if, if this is your first time watching. And if you like this video, then, you know, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, I definitely want to hear about what you guys think about what I've done. I will put down in the description everything that I've done to this car the, 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 um, and any prices that I can possibly remember. Uh, so, again, it's not a whole lot, but there's more to come in the future with this car. So, until next time, talk to you later. Oh, 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 oh.